Welcome to Adventures with a Very Small Lathe. This is an inexpensive microscope I bought recently. My plan was to scavenge the optics to make a centering microscope, but the build quality is pretty good and the top section removable, so I figured I could build what I needed to mount it on the lathe as is. As I was keeping it in working order, I looked into what was required to fit my video camera to it, so you can look through the lens as well. It has a 23mm eyepiece, so I bought this, a 23mm microscope eyepiece adapter with T2 mount thread, and this T2 to micro four thirds adapter to fit my camera. Sadly, it doesn't perfectly fit. The microscope is roughly a standard size and the adapter lines up, but the eyepiece tube doesn't have the right geometry for the adapter to hold in place. I was able to verify that the optics work by taping it on in place of the eyepiece and trying out the camera. It's pretty clear that all that's needed is a fitting with the right inner diameter for the adapter that also fits over the outer diameter of the eyepiece tube and sits firmly in place. A better design would be something that fits directly onto this thread as long as I can work out how to cut a matching thread pitch. My best guess is that it's a 25mm by 0.5mm thread, though it could easily be a 1 inch by 48 pitch imperial thread. The length available isn't long enough to measure the difference and given the engagement it probably doesn't matter. I simplified the job by buying steel tube with suitable inner and outer diameters already and removed the need for lots of drilling and boring. It's very cheap 1010 steel which I've never machined before, but it seemed worth a try to avoid having to do so much boring. I did the basic face turning and chamfer in the 3 jaw before switching to the 4 jaw to do the inside turning. I fitted the biggest boring bar the toolpost can take, but after a couple of passes things started to get difficult. This shot shows the problem fairly well. While feeding the tool into the bore it barely seems to cut at all, just scraping across the surface. Setting the tool deeper just stores the lathe. It seems to cut a lot better feeding back out, but it still makes an unpleasant gritty sound.
I looked up the material data and read that it has a tendency to work harden, which would explain what I was seeing and why there hadn't been a problem for the first pass. Despite the difficulty I managed to get the part bored out to the adapter outside diameter of 23mm and set up an indicator to measure the bore depth for the thread. 25mm by 0.5 isn't a standard thread I could find, so I based the relative dimensions on a 5mm by 0.5 thread and bored it out to 24.5mm. I added a chamfer using the compound to ensure it was nice and smooth so I could be sure of a clean thread start. I cut the thread using a technique I've never tried before, which I first saw described on Joe Prasinski's channel. I used a left-hand internal threading tool and ran the lathe in reverse, with the tool feeding away from the chuck. This has the obvious advantage that it removes the need to stop the tool at exactly the right point to ensure the thread is properly cut without crushing the tool into the shoulder in the part. It's particularly well suited to the Proxon, as it doesn't have a separate lead screw for thread cutting, and there's no half nut to disengage. Off camera I'd cut a groove to full thread depth at the far end of the thread diameter to give the tool space to start.
Threading this way is a breeze compared with other internal threads I've cut. I could have run the lathe faster as well to get cleaner cutting from the carbide insert, but I kept the speed down because of the hardening problems I had earlier. It took about 15 passes total, including a number repeated at the same depth as the previous pass to ensure the entire length was cut cleanly to the same depth. I was so keen to try it out that I removed the camera from my filming rig without thinking to shoot any of the assembly, but here are the first shots I took through the microscope as a consolation. Thank you. 